<laughs> okay. So Martin Mirror not getting recorded. The the Knights of the Hollow Hill Mirror, I mean. Uh, let's just check this again. So there's two Martel mirrors, right? Yeah. So two Martels guaranteed to make it to the semi-finals and uh, two non-Martels. That's pretty decent. Okay, let's see if the games have started. Just starting now. Okay. So uh, Hannes is streaming table two. That's this one between Lannister Manifest God and Targaryen Free Companies. So if you want to watch that, you can uh, switch to his uh, channel. And I will uh, then uh, check the Trident, right? Because that sounds like it's uh, it's an interesting deck. And. Uh, Paul, you can uh, then record uh, what's left at the Lannister uh, three companies against the Lion, right? If you like. And okay, so what do we have here? We have Stan, I believe he is from China, playing uh, Trident and setting up some chads and uh, an interesting card, Meadowlark. It's uh, going to, with behest, going to grab some uh, journey tokens immediately. Of course, against uh, no setup. And uh, Madness here from France, right, is, um, I'm guessing, playing a very similar deck to the one Alex is playing. We'll see if it's identical in a bit when uh, the plots go through. So Martel Trident, how do you play that? Mm, Navelling round one, you're not cancelling of course the, the hollow hill bonus, but it's a decent start. So we've seen uh, Steven Patain play this a lot, so he plays it like a Doran's game deck with uh, big characters and uh, the, um, the princess plan, grab icons once the plots are in the used pile and uh, desperate attack at some point, stuff like that, to, to swing it in the late game. And uh, I think um, a bit uh, more than a year ago there was that uh, tournament, China versus Europe Championship, where uh, a lot of the Chinese players uh, played Martel Wars decks. Uh, in, with different agendas, basically the, the Martel Wars concept, like the long game with the runs game, but uh, but using different agendas, and uh, they used Knights of the Hollow Hill with that uh, plan in mind, and Trident as well. So I would assume this is uh, going to be a, a deck that likes to uh, get a few rounds uh, completed without uh, that much stuff going on, and then just uh, tries to swing for a big runs game, big power swing. And uh, it won't be easy, right? Because uh, Knights of the Hollow Hill plays so many cancels and draws all of them. So even if you push it through with uh, your intrigue icons in play, which is another thing altogether, of course, against uh, Martel, Martel Knights of the Hollow Hill, that it's, it's difficult to do. But even if you do push it through, then uh, still need to get the event through. But so far, no intrigue icons, so maybe I've uh, misjudged what this deck is doing. Mm, seizing the Meadowlark. Yeah, probably not going to be that many key locations to seize here, so if you're not completely sure what Meadowlark is trying to do, just uh, yeah, get it. Even if when this expires it will have uh, two journey tokens, so I wonder what it's trying to get really. Something big or uh, just something uh, random that you can bring in at some point over the course of the game. Uh, 
And this uh, matchup, of course, takes some knowledge of the game to get it right. Because uh, you need to know what can come. And here we go, something is coming, right? Heads on spikes, misses. So you get uh, war plots on military, you get edict on intrigue, and you get siege on uh, power, and you have behest in uh, martel to. Uh, that's a siege, so uh, it's an edict, so you can uh, get it uh, on intrigue challenge and flip into one of the others. So you can flip into desperate attack before you've done uh, military. That's one of the tricks that Steven used to do when he played this, and uh, you need to know as the opponent, right? exactly what can uh, happen. But uh, on this occasion Stan has just used behest, so I think the plan is more along the lines of get uh, get some plots in the used pile. Probably playing Gile Town as well. And then the board becomes stronger, surely host of the bone way. There's the big army. Now that's restricted we'll see. I, I think that's that probably the restricted uh, card. So naval gone. Do we have another exchange now? Considered some power already, but not that much. And these are all non uniques that can be wired away, so. Well, I think uh, Secret Schemes, well, actually there was a Hand's Judgment as the other option, so giving him Secret Schemes, interesting. Jukan, her guys, another Seized and Dorn. Even here, yeah, with Dorn there was no option, so stuck with that choice, really. Yeah, with Exchange, uh, so first of all you need a good spread, right? You need, uh, I think six is the, is the number of events and attachments where you have a good chance of seeing them, otherwise if you go lower then maybe uh, you won't see any in the top 10 cards. But then you also want to not have too many, because then of course if you have some random event uh, that you're not sure if, if it's going to be useful, then the opponent can, uh, can give you that. And if you have 6 cards, let's say 3 of each, then you're getting something good and the opponent is really stuck with no good choice sometimes. So you don't want to uh, go too high on attachments and events, I think, with uh, exchange. Not sure this uh, deck is following that logic though, because uh, there's so many events. I'm guessing there's way more than six. And not so much for attachments though, so usually you'd be uh, getting some kind of secret uh, pact or venomous blade or something. This time seized and the, the second one. So not that useful. Play is done. No characters yet. It's going to keep conceding some unopposed. And Tens cannot assault Dorn. Keeps 3 gold. Now what, do we have another one of those? Uh, uh, actually we don't. Faction card is not because of secret schemes, so no switching into heads and spikes this time. Hmm, Venomous Blade with so many chads would have been useful later on. No power on the faction card, so it really slows down the opponent. In my game, actually, earlier, uh, very early on, I, I think I got some power for free because my opponent triggered Sansa. Just uh, basically transferred from his faction card onto mine, so I was happy with that. 
but sometimes decks skip it on zero and there's one deck in particular that we saw in the World Cup Lannister Ban or the Sun that uh, has a policy never to do any challenges uh, to, to get any power on the faction cards so that the opponent cannot possibly steal anything so you just uh, try to power slow it down and then when you get your pieces uh, your combo with sparrows to move everything onto your faction card you tend to win and it's uh, unbeatable uh, with certain matchups right I just uh, have, have no way of uh, stopping that strategy but uh, have to play it competitively with um, with time limits and here we go does need to Morghulis has varies to take all of these guys away anyway to stop it I'm guessing not there's no gold for nightmares and there's gold to pay he calls it thinking so okay 6-1 but uh, card advantage econ advantage and here is where things get difficult <laughs> it's cutting these guys for reserve just doesn't seem fair <laughs> Mad King's Command is the only real reset you can play here, so not surprising to see it. I think, can you play Wildfire? I think you can, right? Yeah, it's a war. So, um, yeah, playing coppers into that is uh, not great. There's uh, gonna be so many cards wasted, but I think now surely Pierre has to get three characters in play here, right? So otherwise, it's just a waste. Well, not exactly the, the one you want, he has ambush, so could bring it from hand as well. Six gold, so a couple more would be nice here, you know, even if it's something small. It's the last round of Seized on Meadowlark. So after that, there's a free character coming in, potentially. <laughs> the other Seized. Well, it makes sense uh, to, to put it in play if you don't have three attachment, but it's a, it's a waste of gold, right? It has nothing to do with the two gold, no extra character, no uh, ambush for two gold really can be done. They're all three and four. And this is just going to be a huge waste of cards for ball players because I'm not uh, seeing them play three characters here and why is the, the, the grow standing here if uh, oh he's just being uh, marshaled for free anyway because of the king's route and you have nothing else Uh, 
at King's Command, both players way over reserve, and uh, it's not 3-3 three, three on characters, it's 2-1. That's amazing. Now he's a guard, he's not an army or commander. Can win military, kill that uh, bastard daughter, which is not ideal. And then you can't uh, flip into a new plot and uh, all those uh, little armies that could have uh, triggered the agenda or discarded for Varys. Would be nice to get one here, right? To uh, flip into some kind of uh, march to the wall after claim or something like that. Hmm. So what's the what happened with Meadowlark did not keep it. And one seas was chosen with we don't know exactly from this chat log which one, the one with gold or the one that had zero. So one seized was um going to the bottom of the deck and the other was being discarded because it's terminal and the attach uh, the uh, location left play okay winning intrigue and now shadow city bastard of course sacrifices itself to take the icon going to try to kill hotach but there is a princess plan and he can defend himself Well, minor victory here for Dryden because Dorn is drawing another card, and I think uh, every time we draw, anyway, now come the resets, and we'll see what the situation is after that. I think uh, the stranger is the one to choose. Probably you don't want to march, bastard daughter. You'd prefer to kill her, so. To play the stranger, kill both of them. Keep more bullies for uh, next time. And what was the last one uh, from Alex? Did we see it? I don't think we did. Oh, we did see it. It was March to the Wall, so it should be uh, March, Stranger, and more bullies if it's the same deck, and then. Uh, Hmm, that's going to march. Well, Siege Operations is going to draw up. So that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Usually you try to flip into that. But reveals it here. What was the last plot Alex had? Does anyone remember? Now do we have some kind of board coming in? <laughs> That's that uh, metal arc again. Now there is a seized in hand, so is it getting seized again? Either way, you want to get rid of the hand so that you can get uh, as much as you can for siege preparations. And Starfall is not bad. My target power against now to try to stay ahead. this be a change of plan play on the board a bit more now that you are ahead and maybe just get rid of the stranger before the opponent has uh, has uh, characters and then uh, wait with Morgulis until the last round 
because it, it is swinging here. There's going to be three unopposed, and uh, that the prince grabbed his bestow to stay in play for a bit. Yeah, doesn't defend. It's going to get the cards back anyway, so it reclaimed not a problem here. And can't really target the icons. Because there's two of each at least, so... Starfall hasn't achieved much. And suddenly, the Knights of the Hollow Hill takes control here, and it's only Route 4. It happened pretty quickly after that uh, very play. Don't miss the siege preparations, okay. Marching. Maybe there is no stranger. Oh, no, we haven't revealed blood yet, sorry. Ah, Mad King's Command, right, right that's what uh, Alex also had. So I, I'm guessing it's a, it's a complete copy, at least in terms of plots. So, um, hmm. Well, okay, it's, it's okay, you keep... Uh, Keep three characters, keep three locations, opponent uh, has some gold, gets three as well. Hmm. Okay. Suddenly it's not so good. Let's see. Uh, seized for <laughs> Metal Lark again. So that uh, a desert scavenger or whatever doesn't come in. And drawing even with Mad King's command, so th not happy with his hand. Probably wants uh, some kind of, uh, let's say, uh, Nymeria and uh, Dornish Spy, stuff like that, to be in play now instead of the, the little escorts, because you need to deal with uh, Host of the Bone, for instance. Now, uh, let's remember that there is a Prince's plan lurking about, only one. That was uh, played earlier on Hotak, so to go left for Stan here. Which means he can't play it if he takes it back to hand. But that could be useful later on as well. And if it's a Doran's game deck, then this little swing into uh, Pierre's favor here might not be uh, completely permanent. And now what do you keep? I guess Lysa, Theater Prince and one of the Escorts. And uh, what does Stan keep for locations here? Meadowlark, Starfall and the Fiefdom. And Meadowlark is not seized. So could potentially sack it just to bring the, the Desert Scavenger in. Give yourself another character. Or do you wait another round to get one of those poor fellows at least, but then it might get seized if... Uh, that's still in hand. Now the problem is that Lysa, right? If you do military, which you really want to do, she gets killed and removes host of the bone way. So what is Star for doing here? Is it going to take uh, an intrigue icon and then you try to win by five? 
no it takes uh, power and sensibly using water gardens before it gets assaulted it's not quite enough to win against Lysa and uh, the escort if Tens attacks here kinda want to intimidate first if you can so let's see what the host does Plenty of time left in this one. 30 minutes, so it's bound to finish in the next few rounds. Let's see. This should be interesting. So, attacking into Lysa and raising claim. <laughs> Better win this. Okay, so that could claim Lysa and the escort. And there is a uh, There is an army attacking, but just the one though. And the Lysa removes it, so then you, you can't flip into something else. So he uh, could have attacked with another army just to make sure he could flip into another plot. Attacks, uh, defense with two characters that uh, are presumably not both going to die because Lysa is surely has to be chosen for claim. And then if she removes the army then there's no intimidate. Or is she going to remove one of the standing characters instead? But then the agenda triggers. <laughs> well, removing Meadow Lark, well, that's uh, interesting anyway. Keeps <laughs> the army, uh, lets the swap happen. Might concede further challenges here. But wants to get rid of uh, the location and not the characters because presumably now his little plan to play on the board has uh, not worked out so he's just going to Murgulis, right? But uh, is uh, was Meadowlark stronger than Starfall? Or do you still have that seized for Starfall next round? Possibly. If there's the stranger you could also try that, it's a 3 cost that kills also 10s and then you choose 6 and keep poor fellows alive, but uh, I think this deck probably has march to the wall and then you win initiative with that and go first and uh, mess up the stranger, so that's not a thing to do. Ah, had this for Starfall. I was just thinking <laughs> to see bringing in another metal arc sure is out of them now. So it's uh, one removed from the game, maybe there's only one. Yeah, Murgulis was the thing to do here. Now it's going to keep one of these alive, but they're non uniques anyway, and uh, doesn't seem like they can come in from 
Well, maybe with reinforcements, if that's the last plot, they could be able to come in from the discard pile. Okay, so... Staying ahead now, on power. Board's empty. Decent icon for both. Depends what the cards in hand are. And this is the last chance for uh, good secret schemes here for Pierre because uh, he is going down to zero plots after this round. And the last plot is not a draw plot. And on the other side we have a, an eight card secret schemes potentially, which is just crazy. It's, uh, you get one round, right? One of these when when the plots are uh, when you're down to uh, to one. That was uh, intentionally written in a complicated way to uh, to make sure you uh, can never run out of plots to reveal in some kind of uh, weird uh, loop with uh, change of plans or uh, is it change of plans that Martel event that puts uh, a plot into your use pile and you get that one round where it's crazy use plots so if there's a Durant's game to be triggered now would be nice but uh, I'm guessing there isn't can't win by five with these anyway and uh, host is gone last round was the chance cancels the draw as well but there was no gold after the green blood trader Now what? One gold left, but standing water gardens, so still threat of a vengeance. Uh, what happened with that uh, princess plan? Still there, so not in hand. Yeah, doing a free power, and then I guess. Uh, that character is going to sack itself. Would like to trigger on the army because that has the agenda threat. But it can only really trigger on the other guy. So maybe it, yeah, it does before defenders are declared. So that might be unopposed now as well. You don't expect Durant's game from this deck. And uh, you can't win with... Uh, there's no goal to bring the strength of Grimblood Trader up anyway. Well, actually, there could be. You play this into Princess Plan, bring it up to 6 if it's not defended to win with Durant's game. But uh, that's not that type of deck, so it doesn't even entertain this possibility. It's not going to defend, it's going to attack with the army and if the last plot is is um, reinforcements could it be reinforcements that would be pretty sweet here for stan maybe a vengeance this time but you eat it anyway because of uh, if it's reinforcements, get an extra character here, maybe with a power icon. Yeah. What's the last plot, and is it war to be revealed from this uh, challenge? No, it's going to reveal it. Yeah, it's going to reveal it in the plot phase. Whatever it is, maybe it's something he doesn't want to reveal. And now the stranger will kill the last two characters here. It's 
city besieged. Is that a city? Mm, doesn't seem so. So it's going down to zero, so I guess you get go after the the fifth dome, right? Has to be the fifth one because this is going down to zero unless there's a unless there's a guard down where well, I think that's a misplay. Seven gold, could have been only five. I think you go for numbers here. Get three characters, get all the icons, do all the challenges. You're on ten, so opponent has to react. Not bad, but there's no power icon. <laughs> that mad dollar keeps coming back. Are we coming into a few more rounds? Well, possibly. It's, it looked like it would finish within a round or two, and both players got to this uh, nine power or so, but game still going. Not much power gained, and even yeah, even the other deck, the Trident puts just nothing on here. There's two claim and there's uh, if you just put two power icons you had two copies of tens. Maybe there's an ambush character here that can come in. Takes the princess plan. And discards it. Probably the same copy. Any ambush? No. So that's another round that's gone by pr quite quickly. And now what? Well, Ghoulis is back, but so is the Mad King's command for both players. And we have that uh, coppers and exchange business again with uh, Knights of the Hollow Hill here. Cards Misty Morn. Useful little characters here that you can grab. You know, Mad King's Command keeps uh, chipping away at the, the locations as well. You don't get that many icon options here anyway with Knights of the Hollow Hill, but uh, three drop lots. And if there was uh, some kind of late summer fees there, just to. Um, have one round where you can spam the board a bit. And uh, remember, naval is an option, so what's the situation here? Yeah, uh, Pierre going second, so his field is two gold. If you naval this, it's it's five gold. It's, uh, it's not great. Maybe if you have characters, some kind of for the realm is a better choice. You could also just go into heads on spikes, see what happens. No? Goes for Econ. And now there's two tokens. Do you wait? For Seized it's a, it's an action. Any plot, any phase. So you could uh, try to sack it and get one of those uh, poor fellows or something. Search 
searching for cards. And now he, t he triggers it. Possibly better to do it while you have some gold in case he calls the thinking is annoying. Well, it gives you a potentially another character. However, it's not a power icon, so it's risky now if there's no power icons in hand and she doesn't find one. It's not what you want, and there's a starfall as well, so if you kind of need more than uh, more than one power icon to give yourself a chance. And that princess plan was uh, annoyingly discarded earlier again. Is misty, is it uh, getting cancelled? There's a thousand ha hands judgments. Yeah, it's a good thing to cancel, I think. Could potentially bring in two characters more if it takes uh, poor fellows and uh, Grimblood Trader. Beguiled, not great going first. I think here is possibly where it goes really downhill for Stan and uh, I think we might see Pierre winning this one now. But I've said that before, so we'll see. Yeah, sh she can take uh, one of the icons here, but she, what she really wants is power, right? And if she takes one and Starfall takes the other, then it's still uh, out of power icons and uh, <laughs> we go into another round. Well, if you're going to do military, shouldn't you just uh, kill it first before using Starfall? Maybe there's a princess plan in hand and then uh, it gets a second military icon and defends itself. Nothing to be done now, but this. Uh, oh, of course, uh, I'm being stupid. Stan is first, so we have to take the icons, otherwise, it's doing a challenge. Sorry about that. Three gold. Is there any vengeance on the other side? No desert traders. There is a prince's plan, and there is a vengeance. Okay. I think you kill, yeah, you kill the, the trader, get your Venom's Blade back, and the the um, terminal beguiled goes as well. Now the problem is we go into another round, and now there's the Princess Plan. So whatever character comes in, and surely something has to come in. It's going to get that uh, power icon, and then you have have to work with that uh, Starfall. No march, I think, on this side. If I remember correctly, I've seen all the plots, but it's difficult to, to keep track. There is a heads on spikes for some surprise power gain. And it goes for that. 
might want to do that first because before all the non characters come into play. Even though you kind of yeah. I guess you do want to go first. Otherwise uh, you're uh, under pressure from the military. And uh Yeah, it doesn't hit. Twelve eleven. Is this finally the last round or are we going into another one after this? Because there's not much power gained by either player. They keep taking their icons away and there's some non-power challenges being done. I don't think we can complain complain about the games here in this uh, online moral championship. I was slightly disappointed by the number of players and uh, there has been some uh, bad mood from some players uh, on Discord and stuff like that. Uh, frustrated at some of the stuff that that's happening in online play but uh, the quality of the games uh, in terms of, of um, being entertaining it's uh, going uh, down to the last few power each time we watch something so it's uh, really exciting hope for more of the same I guess we kind of knew that would happen with uh, with so much Martell around Yeah, should have uh, actually gained the gold earlier here too, if he was going to cancel the search. And now, what's the situation? Three or more plots. There are three or more. So you take his power icon and then Princess Plan gives it back, but uh, I wouldn't count on that. There could be more icon control and there could be cancels in hand, so... Oh, and uh, she exists. So there's two cards in play that can take two power icons potentially. And let's see what else comes in. useful and that's it, 8 gold left we have not seen almost any ambush throughout the game from Pierre here, surely now with the 8 gold and the stair cards he, he, he would have marshaled something if he didn't have ambush so he must have ambush here and now where do you start with uh, the icons because uh, to keep her alive you also need to take military icons unless there's vengeance of course and the uh, burning one was discarded for heads and spikes let's see uh, one gone and one vengeance gone so plant is still available and most of the deck has been drawn by both players down to 19 cards Okay, uses uh, the two uh, icon control effects to take both icons. Now there is the princess plan, so I guess uh, that might get played. Then there's four icons to play with, or five even. <laughs> Well, he spent it, he spent the gold, and there is the Princess Plan. So, uh, if it's played on Knights of the Sun, that might win a power challenge with Renown. What's the situation with the power challenge? You get siege plots. You get... What do you get? I don't know. You get uh, siege preparations. Can't be has because it's spent. 
Siege preparation is not winning this game. Flipping into heads on spikes would have uh, potentially done it. Okay, it's he's played it now. Yeah, <laughs> I was just I was just going to check because I I don't know from uh, from the top of my head if uh, this can <laughs> can get events like that. Non-agenda, non-plot, yeah. So anything basically, and uh, that was the the last uh, nail in the coffin. So really, really exciting game here, and uh, yet another Martel Knights of the Hollow Hill makes it through to the semi-finals now. And um, yeah, five minutes left, so there's half a chance there's something still being played. Mm, seems like this was the last one. Okay, so. Uh, quick uh, toilet break and then we'll see who has made it through I'll actually I'll give you uh, this screen in the meantime mm, there we are so you can already see and I'll be back in a second